The curves continue to climb. The curve we're tracking most closely at uh, Discovery when it comes to Western Cape, bearing in mind we do have an office down in the Western Cape where the vast majority of our people are work from home. But yeah, we do have a few people in the office, so we're watching the situation closely. The number we track closely is called the attack rate or the number of new infections per 100,000 population per day. The attack rate in the Western Cape, just to help you calibrate at the moment, is sitting at 21. So 21 new infections per 100,000 per population per day. South Africa's attack rate nationally is three per 100,000 per population per day. So that allows you to kind of calibrate on a population basis. The Western Cape outbreak is seven times more severe than the South African outbreak at, at this stage. The other interesting thing about the calibration on the attack rate is that European countries, and you'll remember when we spoke uh, when we've spoken over the last year, two or three months, European countries peaked at a, an infection attack rate of 10 per 100,000 per population per day. So the Western Cape numbers are now double where the uh, European peaks were, were happening. And in fact, the Western Cape your rates are looking comparable to some of our South American counterparts. So Chile sits a little bit above that at 23 per 100,000 per population per day. Uh, Brazil is tracking towards, I think, uh, 16 was the, the latest number that I saw in your Brazil. This moment of clarity comes from one of thousands of interviews you'll be able to access by downloading the free biznews.com app in the Apple or Google Play app stores.